Now, against all the odds, a circus troupe made up almost entirely of Ukrainian performers is in Derbyshire this week. The latest circus Cortex tour had to be delayed in April because many of the artists were caught up in the war in Ukraine. Well, from tomorrow, they're performing in Bakewell. A warning now that this report from Emily Anderson does contain flashing images. These performers are thousands of miles from home. But the people they've been forced to leave behind in Ukraine are at the forefront of their minds every day. I miss them a lot and I miss my home and I miss my city. And uh, it makes me feel difficult to focus on work because you're always thinking about your home. And uh, I've never wanted to go back home that bad as now. Very sad and disappointed that this disaster is happening in the 21st century in the middle of Europe. For the moment now we are safe and I'm just a little bit relaxed, and, uh, but in my mind I'm also all the time in Ukraine. But Tanya and Victor know they have a job to do. They're part of Circus Cortex and are performing in Bakewell this week. They say despite the war in their homeland, they're determined the show must go on. Mm, it's important for me to show that Ukrainian performers are very strong, talented and hard working. So what's it like performing, sort of knowing what's going on at home? You know, it in the finale of show when uh, we stay in the middle and uh, yes, sometimes uh, you stop smile and you want to cry. Like Tanya and Victor, most of the performers are from Ukraine. Its founder, Irina Archer, is half Russian. She used to be part of the Moscow State Circus. My heart is going out for them because normally they're happy to be abroad and performing because that's what the life of the artist is. It's a big adventure and usually it's a happy adventure. But this time they're here, but their mind and hearts are back home. In normal circumstances, the performers go back to Ukraine between tours. But now, as the war continues, they're coming to terms with the fact that they may never be able to return home. Emily Anderson, BBC East Midlands Today, Bakewell.